Our story begins billions of years ago in the vast expanse of the universe. Imagine a vast cloud of gas and dust known as a nebula drifting through the cosmos, illuminated by distant stars. This nebula, often referred to as a stellar nursery, held within it the raw materials and the potential to create new stars and planetary systems. A cosmic event, perhaps a nearby supernova explosion, sent powerful shock waves rippling through the nebula, disturbing its delicate balance. These shock waves compress the gas and dust, causing it to spin and collapse inwards, initiating a gravitational dance. Gravity took hold, pulling matter towards the center, creating a dense, hot core. This core grew hotter and denser as more material was drawn in. Under immense pressure and heat, nuclear fusion ignited within this core. Hydrogen atoms fused to form helium, releasing vast amounts of energy. Our sun was born, this newborn sun. A blazing ball of hydrogen and helium dominated the center of the swirling disk of leftover material, shining brightly in the darkness of space. It radiated light and heat, shaping the destiny of the surrounding matter, influencing the formation of planets, moons, and other celestial bodies. The sun's powerful gravity kept the remaining gas and dust bound in orbit, creating a protoplanetary disk. This marked the beginning of our solar system's formation, a complex process that would unfold over millions of years, leading to the creation of planets, moons and other celestial bodies. From the remnants of this cosmic cloud, planets, moons and asteroids would eventually emerge, each with its own unique characteristics and story, all bound by the gravity of the sun. Within the swirling disk around the young sun, a ballet of cosmic dust particles began. These particles, remnants of the original nebula, collided with each other. Electrostatic forces caused them to stick together, forming larger clumps. Over time, these clumps grew bigger, becoming planetesimals, the building blocks of planets. The process, known as accretion, continued for millions of years. Planetesimals attracted more dust and smaller objects with their growing gravitational pull. As they gobbled up surrounding material, they grew larger and larger. The inner region of the disk, closer to the sun, was hotter. Here, rocky materials like iron and silicates could condense and coalesce. This led to the formation of the inner rocky planets, including Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. In the chaotic early solar system, Earth was born from the relentless collision of planetesimals. These impacts generated immense heat, melting the young planet's surface. Earth became a fiery ball of molten rock and metal, a magma ocean glowing with intense heat. The constant bombardment also released gases, forming a primordial atmosphere. As Earth cooled slightly, a process called differentiation began. Gravity pulled the denser elements, like iron and nickel, towards the center. This formed the planet's core, Lighter elements like silicon and oxygen rose to the surface, eventually solidifying to form the Earth's crust. This separation of materials into layers driven by density differences was a crucial step in Earth's evolution. The process of differentiation didn't stop there. It was just the beginning of a complex journey that shaped our planet. The Earth's interior continued to evolve over millions of years eventually forming distinct layers. These layers are crucial to understanding the dynamic nature of our planet. At the very center lies the core, composed mostly of iron and nickel. This dense core is divided into two parts, the inner core and the outer core. The intense pressure at this depth creates a solid inner core and a liquid outer core. The inner core remains solid due to the immense pressure despite the high temperatures. This liquid outer core, constantly churning, generates Earth's magnetic field. This magnetic field acts as a protective shield against harmful solar radiation, making life on Earth possible. Surrounding the core is the mantle, a thick layer of hot, semi-molten rock. The mantle extends up to 2,900 kilometers and is the largest layer of the Earth. The mantle is not entirely liquid. It behaves like a very viscous fluid over long periods. This slow movement is responsible for the convection currents that drive plate tectonics. These convection currents allow for the slow movement of tectonic plates, a driving force behind earthquakes, volcanoes, and the formation of continents. The movement of these plates shapes the surface of our planet. Finally, we reach the outermost layer, the crust. 
the solid surface upon which we live. The crust is where all terrestrial life exists and where we build our civilizations. The crust is relatively thin compared to the other layers, much like the skin of an apple. Despite its thinness, it plays a crucial role in supporting life and shaping the Earth's landscape. While Earth was still in its infancy, a dramatic event occurred that would forever shape our planet and its companion. A Mars-sized object named Theia collided with the young Earth in a cataclysmic impact. The energy released was unimaginable, vaporizing a significant portion of both bodies. Debris from this collision, a mixture of molten rock and vaporized material, was flung into orbit around Earth. Over time, this orbiting debris coalesced under its own gravity. It cooled and solidified, eventually forming our moon. This scenario, known as the giant impact hypothesis, is the leading explanation for the moon's formation. It explains many of the moon's unique characteristics, including its relatively large size compared to Earth and the similarities in composition between lunar and terrestrial rocks. The early Earth was a hostile and alien world. Volcanoes erupted across the surface, spewing lava and gases into the atmosphere. The sky glowed with the heat of the molten planet below. The atmosphere was thick with carbon dioxide, nitrogen and other volcanic gases, a toxic mix unsuitable for life as we know it. The bombardment from space hadn't ended with Thayer's impact. Asteroids and comets, remnants from the solar system's formation, rained down on Earth. These impacts delivered more heat and contributed to the volatile mix of the early atmosphere. However, these celestial wanderers also brought something crucial for life water. While some of Earth's water may have been present in the original material that formed the planet, a significant portion is thought to have arrived later, delivered by comets and asteroids. These icy bodies, hailing from the colder outer regions of the solar system, carried water ice within their structure. As they collided with Earth, this ice melted and vaporized, becoming part of the planet's growing water inventory. Over millions of years, these cosmic deliveries added to Earth's water supply. The water vapor in the atmosphere eventually reached a saturation point. As the planet continued to cool, the vapor began to condense, forming clouds and eventually leading to the first rainfall. The early rains were torrential unlike anything we experience today. Water cascaded down from the sky, carving channels through the volcanic rock and pooling in the lowest lying areas. Over eons, these basins filled with water, forming the first oceans. These early oceans were likely shallow and warm compared to today's vast deep oceans. The formation of oceans was a pivotal moment in Earth's history. Water, with its unique properties, would become the cradle of life. The oceans provided a stable environment, protecting early life forms from the harsh radiation of the young sun. They also acted as a vast solvent, facilitating chemical reactions essential for the emergence of life. From a swirling cloud of gas and dust, a nebula, our planet began its incredible journey. Through a fiery and chaotic process, Earth emerged, shaped by volcanic eruptions and relentless asteroid impacts. The Earth we know today, with its life-sustaining oceans, vast continents and a protective atmosphere, is a marvel of cosmic engineering. It stands as a testament to the incredible forces that shaped our solar system, from the birth of the Sun to the formation of planets. The formation of the Earth and its Moon is a remarkable story of cosmic collisions, planetary evolution and the dance of celestial bodies. Over billions of years, Earth transitioned from a hostile environment to a habitable world teeming with diverse landscapes and life. As we gaze out at the vastness of space, we are reminded of our planet's humble and violent beginnings. It's humbling to remember the violent processes that forged our world, from volcanic eruptions to asteroid impacts. We appreciate the delicate balance that makes life on Earth possible, a balance maintained by the intricate interplay of natural forces. Our journey through time, from a nebula to a blue oasis, is a story of transformation and resilience. It reminds us of the interconnectedness of the cosmos, where every star, planet and galaxy plays a role in the grand tapestry of existence. The extraordinary chain of events that led to our existence is a testament to the wonders of the universe and the delicate balance that sustains life.